Hey everybody, so look at this ornament. It's one of those no so full of stars. I had difficulty getting it done, although it wasn't too, too bad because it was done with one of these rough balls. Now, it gets a bit tricky to push the pin into it. And I was using these dressmaker type ones. I just did an order from Fabricland to get a bunch more of them. But way back when from Amazon, I knew I had hardly any left. And we ordered these. I thought, oh great, they're wonderful. Look how thick these things are. It's hard enough ramming a pin, a regular skinny pin, into one of these balls. Never mind these thick things. It's like a frigging railway tie. So, I'm not using those. We ordered them ages ago. The receipt's long gone. Bye-bye. They're going to charity. I'm going back to these dressmaker ones. I got some white ribbon. I do have blue ribbon on order to finish it off. That's my... So you can see the, how big the head is. Look at that. It's huge. I'm killing my fingers trying to get it in there. So the ribbon goes on top. And I want to do like a... Or maybe a white one all kind of squiggly and then a blue one on top. But look at this one finished. And then this was the first side I did. And it actually turned out really good otherwise. Other than the pins were kind of showing a bit. But this one I made this part a little bit too skinny. I don't think my nephew's going to care. Once you hang it on three, you're not going to know anyway. So there's the top. So it gets a ribbon there. And it hangs like that. So... If I get it all finished, sorry, I bumped it, get it all finished, um, then I'll put this one up in my, uh, maybe in my May Christmas collab video, along with another ornament or two. April's going to be just a couple small ones, because I haven't had time to do anything else. Anyway, here's for good pins. Cheers. Thanks, everybody.